GPT can improve sentence construction for clarity and cohesion. Okay. And what that means is you can give it, you can put your own thoughts down on paper and have it rewrite your thoughts to convey them more succinctly and more clearly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of that. So here's an article that I found on hydraulic motors. Okay. So you're welcome to pause the video and just copy this paste into your chat window if you want, or just watch me do this. Hydraulic motors. So uh, I'm going to have it rewrite this section to be more clear. And the prompt I would use to do that is I would tell it, you are now a hydraulic motor expert and you are skilled at writing very clear articles very clear and easy to understand articles about hydraulic motors. Please rewrite this. Uh, and then I would have the part I want to have rewritten, which again, you can stop, pause the video and, and do this yourself, or you can just watch me do it here. I want to talk about this prompt for a second. I'm telling it who it is, a hydraulic motor expert that is skilled in writing clearly and uh, clear and easy to understand articles about hydraulic motors. Why is that? Because I want, I'm trying to align the model to the type of writing that I want through this prompt. So I don't want it to be academic. I don't want it to be long. I don't want it to sound like an operator's manual either. I write, I want this to be an article that's very clear, right? I'm just trying to align chat GPT to what I want it to do. And so the more I can give it a sense of that in this prompt, the better response I'll normally get. So let's see what happens. All right, so you can see the, well, we'll read the before and after here in a moment and we'll talk about it. Okay, so the original was hydraulic motors. The conversion of hydraulic pressure and flow into torque or twisting force. And just a note here, generally, the more you have to use parentheses, the more confusing your writing is. And then rotation is the function of a hydraulic motor, which is a mechanical actuator. Uh, I find these sort of clauses and sentences also to be a little bit hard to follow as the sentence gets longer. The use of these is quite adaptable along with hydraulic cylinders and hydraulic pumps. Hydraulic motors can be united in a hydraulic drive system. Combined with hydraulic pumps, the hydraulic motors can create hydraulic transmissions. While some hydraulic motors run on water, the majority in today's business operations are powered by hydraulic fluid as the ones in your business likely are. Okay, so that's what I asked it to refine. Let's see how it did. Hydraulic motors play a crucial role in the world of mechanics by transforming hydraulic pressure and flow into a rotational force, also known as torque. Acting as, a mechanical, acting as mechanical actuators, they do the heavy lifting when turning motion is needed. Their flexibility is one of the key benefits. They form a crucial part of the hydraulic drive systems where they work alongside hydraulic cylinders and hydraulic pumps. When combined with hydraulic pumps, these motors can create hydraulic transmissions facilitating the, tra facilitating the transfer of power between different parts of the machine. Although some hydraulic motors operate using water, the ones used in most of today's industrial applications run on hydraulic fluid. This fluid serves as the power transmission medium, making it likely the kind you'll encounter in your own business operation. Okay, so this was this was a pretty good article to start with. And you can see that by expanding the article in length, making it a bit longer, right? It did a little bit more of explaining, it had fewer clauses and a, you know one less parenthetical statement. So I, I do think that's useful, but to me, I'm actually not a big fan of it making it longer, right? If I want it to be clear and easy to understand, what I forgot to say was, you know, don't make it longer. So why don't we try that? Let's see what happens. If I now want it to take this version it created and make it shorter, I would say, great, thanks. Good job. Now make your revision to the original article shorter, please. Let's see what happens. Okay. Wow. Look at that from three paragraphs to one. Let's take a look and see what it says. A hydraulic motor, a type of mechanical actuator, transforms hydraulic pressure and flow into rotational force or torque. 
These motors offer versatility. They can be incorporated into a hydraulic drive system with cylinders or in pumps, or coupled with hydraulic pumps to form transmissions. Although some use water, most modern hydraulic motors operate using hydraulic fluid. Okay, to me that's excellent. And I'm just going to say, as we look at this, I'm going to highlight this last sentence, because to me this really uh, encapsulates why I think it did a good job here. Although some use water, most modern hydraulic motors operate using hydraulic fluid. That to me is a very tightly written, concise, and excellent piece of writing. Let's see. I actually didn't like this in the original too much. So here's, where it, here's what it said in the original. While some hydraulic motors run on water, the majority in today's business operations are powered by hydraulic fluid, as ones in your business likely are. To me, this last clause was confusing and probably unnecessary. And the length of the sentence made it kind of hard for this to follow the flow. Uh, let's see. This whole last paragraph is how it was rewritten the first time. Although some uh, motor operations, although some hydraulic motors operate using water, the ones used in today's industrial applications run on hydraulic fluid. This fluid serves as the power transmission medium, making it likely the kind you'll encounter in your own business operations. That to me is, is too long to convey the point also. To me, this is really well written, really well written. And as Mark Twain said, I would have written a shorter letter, but I didn't have time, meaning it's hard to capture ideas concisely. So that will wrap up this part of the lesson about using ChatGPT as uh, a tool to rewrite and clarify things. Mm -hmm.